This is a practical workshop to help your students write English sentences using the math logic. They can start by identifying the different sentence structures, write the same idea using the different sentences, combine sentences and proofread their own writings, paragraphs and essays. Where did I come up with this idea? Well, if you remember when you were kids in cycle two in the geometric class, we were asked to prove, for example, that this triangle is isosceles and we had to find out whether it had two equal sides and two equal angles at the base. And this is the logic I applied to sentence structure. We can start by asking students to write different sentences by giving them the subject. Remember that this workshop is not for beginners, but for students who already know how to write sentences, but they have some problems. Explain the logic behind this uh, workshop. For example, the little boy slept early and the little boy finished his homework. What are the students going to do? The students are going to prove that each of these sentences has a subject and predicate. And to, to understand that simple sentence is like an equation, subject plus predicate. Same goes for the compound sentences, where the students have to prove that it has sentence one, fanboy sentence two. Same thing goes for the complex sentences, where the students have to prove that it has an independent and dependent clauses. To help your students, ask them to underline V1 and V2, and the position of the conjugated verb will help them identify the structure of the sentence. Students can express the same idea using different sentence structures, like this one, and they will learn that they can express their idea in any sentence structure provided it's correct. They can also learn that they can combine their ideas in four different ways, adding their ideas, contrasting them, using a cause-effect relationship, and also sequencing their ideas. And at the end, they can proofread their own writings First, by checking the content and then by drawing a slash at the full stop and check whether it's a simple compound complex or compound complex sentence. And if it's none of the, of the above, definitely they have to rewrite it. Here are my contacts. Don't hesitate to contact me for more details. And don't forget to subscribe to my new channel on YouTube in order to learn how to be creative in teaching English language.